Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate um, Telnet and Telnet client and Telnet server and connecting to a remote um, Telnet server and when you use Telnet basically you remote into a host machine and you're provided a command prompt in which you can execute commands on that host machine. Right, so it's a good uh, way, a good tool for connecting and um, administrating um, a remote machine. And in the Cisco CCNA curriculum, you can use it to remote into a uh, Cisco router or a Cisco switch. But the Cisco router switch has to have the interfaces already configured and an IP address configured because with Telnet, you do need to Telnet to either a host name or an IP address. So uh, Telnet is a tool that is not used um, very much anymore because it was um, not encrypted and the usernames and passwords and data, the text commands were sent in plain text across the network. So it wasn't built for security. Today, uh, Secure Shell, SSH, is used more often to remote into a system and execute commands but it still has its uses and it's good networking tool for learning about networking so I'm going to demonstrate it right now so I've got a um, remote XP client I've got remote desktop connection right here to a XP client right and you can see here there's the start menu for the XP client and what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn Telnet on Telnet server on on this um, XP remote client and then over here, I've got my command prompt open for uh, my Windows Vista machine. And we're going to use my Windows Vista machine as the client. And we're going to use this XP machine as the Telnet server. And we will connect from the client to the server. Now, Telnet came uh, installed by default on Windows XP. But with Windows Vista and Windows 7, it is not installed by default. So if you want to install it um, in Windows 7 or Vista, you're going to need to go to your control panel and you're going to need to go to um, programs okay and then you're going to need to go to programs and features and you're going to have to check turn windows features on and off and when you click on this turn windows features on and off you're going to it takes a few minutes for it to um, to work but you're going to need to look for the telnet client and the telnet server and then you can check mark those boxes and then click OK and it will enable your Telnet client, your Telnet server on your Windows Vista or Windows 7 machine. And I've already done that so I won't do that again but it's right there if you wanted to do it on your system. And when you do that to test to see if you have Telnet activated just say Telnet and I'll put in a forward slash and a question mark and I get um, some help information about the Telnet program so you can see I do have it now on my command prompt. So I'm ready with my client to use Telnet. Now for this XP um, that I'm remoted into, this XP machine that I'm remoted into, Telnet was already installed but you do have to run it. So you're going to have to go to your control panel and administrative tools and I'm going to open up services. Okay and then in the services dialog box this is how you start the server. Um, I'll just scroll around here. So I'm going to open this up a little farther and I'll scroll down to T and sure enough there's Telnet and this is the Telnet server okay and it gives you a little description of it here right and I'll just right click on it go to properties and you can see here the service name is TLNT SVR Telnet server and it's disabled right now so I will change it to manual click apply so I can manually start and stop it now I can click start and that will start the Telnet server. All right, so we're good now. Okay, so that's working. I'll minimize that. I'll minimize that. And what I want to do is test to see if if this XP client is indeed listening on port 23, which is the um, port for Telnet. So we can open up a command prompt here, and we can type in net um, stat dash A for all and N for no names and you can see here that these are all of our listening ports on this XP client and right at the top it says listening on address 0000, 000 port 23 okay so I'm listening for all available addresses connecting on port 23 and that means I have Telnet server running I'm listening on port 23 
so that is Telnet server. You can also see that I'm listening on port 3389, which makes sense since we are um, remote desktoped into this machine right here. So I have remote desktop open, so I was able to remote desktop into this client. So isn't that interesting? So and you can see that one is established, right? State established, right? To my machine right here. This is my um, Vista client, which is connected. The foreign address is my Vista client to this address, and you can see the IP address in the port 3389, which I'm connected on remote desktop port 3389. So anyway, we've got Telnet server running, so let's test it out. Um, but before we Telnet into the server, let's run Wireshark and capture some packets to uh, while we're doing it. So I'll click on Wireshark. Hopefully this won't crash the uh, the recording. And here's Wireshark. And I'll say Capture Interfaces. Look for the active interface. It's here at the top. So I'll click Start. That starts my capture. And now I'm going to generate some traffic. Telnet into 192.168 dot four dot one oh four and it says do you want to do this it's not safe okay we'll do it anyway and then we want to log in I'll put in my username and my password okay and I'm in so I've, I'm in I can put in a directory command and look at the directory the desktop documents everything I'm gonna stop my capture over here Wireshark okay so now we have the packets that for that connection right here listed in Wireshark and we can look for our telnet um, connection All right let's take a look here as long as we didn't filter it out okay and so you see we have a telnet connection right here I can send commands I could do an IP config let's say to my remote XP machine. It gives me the IP address of the remote machine. Right? So now, um, another interesting thing. Um, so we're looking through this capture in Wireshark, and I'm not seeing any protocol here for Telnet. I see UDP, TCP, all that stuff, but I'm not seeing any Telnet captures. Now, why is that? Well, first of all, and, I th and this is why we should be seeing some Telnet packets in here for our connection, our Telnet connection, and our successful login. But I forgot that um, right now, this this uh, Vista client right now, and this remote XP machine, I have a VPN tunnel right into this um, remote machine. So in the VPN tunnel, that is uh, an encrypted, protected communication. And so the packets that we captured do not show the Telnet. Um, the telnet is actually not visible, um, at least from the outset here. Um, I'm not seeing any telnet packets, and my guess is, is that because this is all happening within a VPN tunnel. And um, anyway, that's my guess. But the demonstration is solid. We've telneted from a client into a telnet server and um, examined the process. We also attempted to capture some packets with Wireshark, which we did, captured some packets, but we have to um, look at them, and we were not able to see visible Telnet packets, most likely because of the fact that we're going through a VPN tunnel.